Everyone wants to win, don't they? That's exactly. What, that's what it comes down to. Everyone if, wants to if win. If I'm happy with a draw in your hometown, why would I say I think you won? I mean, that, 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 that should be like, you know, I'm happy I got the draw. That I didn't get stiffed on the decision. Were you pleased with Isaac's performance? Well, you know, Isaac had to make adjustments. I mean, and uh, he um, woke up with the flu this morning. He was sick. You know I mean? He couldn't breathe his throat. You know what I mean? So I was happy with him because he showed that he can make adjustments under duress circumstances and still come out on top. You screamed at him after the sixth round because he'd taken the centre of the ring and he jabbed his way back into the fight in that round. Right. And you said, that's all you've got to do now. Stay in the centre. He can't get past your jab. And that was, you know, that was the kind of strong advice well, in the pattern I asked of the him, fight, wasn't it? Yeah. I said, is this guy hurting you? He says, no. I said, is he stronger than you? He says, no. I said, then stay on your effing ground and back him up. That's the only way we're going to get a decision that you got to take control. And I just had to keep pumping that into his head over and over and over. But all in all, under, you know, going into the fight, I knew the circumstances. I knew he wasn't feeling well. You know what I mean? And I knew that I was afraid that he might get caught up into the, the crowd, which he did the first couple of rounds. He wasn't himself. But like I said, he did what champions do. He made an adjustment. So I was, I was very satisfied with his performance. Tony's it's only on. our second fight together, by the way. Okay. It's only our second fight together. And Tony was saying he'd like an immediate rematch. I mean, how, how, what do you think about that? I mean, listen, I mean, I think Isaac would like that as well. You know what I mean? But one thing's for sure, it'd be a different ball game. <laughs> Can you, what do you mean by that? I mean, Isaac, Isaac uh, will be, well, he won't have the flu. You know what I mean? The next time we, uh, we know we got to work on more. Like I said, it's only my second fight with him. We know what we gotta work on more. And Baloo's not gonna do anything no different than he did this time. Would you be happy to come to England again or would it be a different thing? Yeah, listen, if we get the same officials, I'd be more than happy. Only mean? in the summertime, not the winter. Yeah, it'll be warmer though, it'll be yeah, warmer. It's yeah. too damn cold. You say it's the same officials, does that mean you think the officials were favorable to Isaac? Nah, you know what? No, 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 no. They were, they, 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 I'm not gonna say it was favorable to Isaac. I just think they, you know, they scored it the way they saw it. You know what I mean? It could have been worse. It could have went the other way. You know what I mean? That's what was, everyone told me and uh, told Jody that she was crazy to come here to fight this kid in his hometown. They said, "What are you guys crazy?" I said, "Look, I got faith in my fighter. She has faith in the fighter. We're gonna handle our business." The crowd was quite subdued after a lot of talk of 10,000 scouts going crazy and all this. Mm -hmm. Was that a surprise to you? No, because you know, one thing, they're fans, they put their boxing fans. And if, if they see the tide turning, mm. you know I mean, it is what it is. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like you got a Laker game, then Lakers start getting beat. The fans either going to cheer for somebody or just good hope point. it's a good game. Mm. So it got to the point where the fans just hoping it was a good fight, which helped us. In, in all aspects of, of, of the fight. Had you been told the fight was going to start at 11.30? That we was told that we was going to go in the ring at 10.15. Yeah, it's kind of late, isn't it? <laughs> or was it, was it 10.45 in the end? <coughs> we was told 10.10, then it turned yeah. to 10.45, and then it started with... Yesterday, it was, we were told the latest was 10.45. 10.45 Today, we were told 10 past 10. Yeah. yeah. So we didn't know, but then at 10 past 10, the co man was still hitting the mitts in the dressing room next to us, so we we're like, well, I guess we ain't going in this time. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? But like I said, you know, Isaac, Isaac, he fared well. He, he did very well, I believe, under the circumstances. So I have no complaints. Do you think it's right that the one and the three of the WBC fight each other again then, really? You know, I what mean, else are they. I mean, it is what it is, you know what I mean? It's boxing today. It's not like it used to be. So you got to take the bitter with the sweet. I just, you know, I just want to say, uh, look, my name is Joe Kim, I work for Development Entertainment. I just want to say we are very proud of Isaac Chalimba under the circumstances. He woke up with the flu. He came into Tony Ballou's hometown. He took the crowd out of it. He fought his heart out. I just wish he, you know, he was able to get a fair shake. I love it here in England. I just wish he got a fair shake because that kid, I mean, he was, he was huffing and puffing. He was. He won he wasn't feeling good. It was nuts and guts. It was nuts and guts, basically. <laughs> and so, uh, we didn't get the royal stick in, but we got <laughs> we got some sticking in there. Hopefully, uh, we can do a rematch on fair ground. And I think in a rematch, I think you'll see a more dominant Isaac Chalimba. When you say fair ground, are you, are you saying? Yeah, I just 
I just want a fair shake. Wherever it is, I just want a fair shake. I'm waiting for it. Oh, okay. I get resident well, I, I had eight four seven four one B in Genesis, and we were all screaming our heart out. And it was just, it's just one thing where you get very emotional because he took the whole crowd out of it. We came, we came into the ring booing, the booing at us, and after you, you, you felt the respect. And I know we have respect. We just wanted the decision as well. Hopefully do you, do you think that Tony hurt him at any stage in the fight? No, I don't think Tony no. did anything. Didn't even hear him, hit him clearly. I think if anyone got hit clearly, it was uh, Tony got hit clearly. And it wasn't really hard, hard shot. It was just real sharp shots. And I think if Isaac was more, was feeling 90%, I think he would have really did some damage and possibly either knocked him down or even stop him. He did, he did look a little uncomfortable in the first, in the first three, couple four. Rounds, yeah. He was sick he, yeah. last night. He got the runny nose. Yeah, he's been sick like the dog. Um, um, he's just signing up some papers. Okay. Yeah, he got sick last night. He couldn't swallow. So, you know, we know who was, who was concerned, but we didn't tell nobody. You don't tell anybody, you know, we don't breathe. We just try not to bring him to him. And he's a, he's a real true champion. He'll just fight for whatever happens. And true champions make it happen. And I thought, we thought, we felt he did make it happen. Yeah. He's been through an awful lot in his life, hasn't he? You know, he's got to deal with us. What's worse than that? <laughs> <laughs> he's got to deal with Joey and Lou and, and Buddy. So. I'm the nice one out of bunch. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And we're we're going to continue to support Isaac. And uh, pretty, I guarantee you will be in the top, in one of the top light heavyweights in the, in the world today. So given what you said about his illness, was that your game plan to start slow and then come on? As well, well, Isaac is a it? slow starter. Oh, okay. And, um... Once I seen that Baloo couldn't really fight too much going backwards. And I mean, then I seen that, he, I, that's why I asked Isaac, is this guy strong? He says, no. I says, he hurt me. He's like, no. That's right, then we got to change the game plan. We got to make it a dog fight. You know what I mean? Because he's going to try to get his shots and get out, get the crowd going, then press the judges. But now we got to take that from him. And that's what we did from round, I guess, round five up. You know what I mean? So it wasn't the best fight. But you know, he did what he had, he made adjustments. And that's that's the main thing. That's what I look for. I don't look for big things, I look for little things. And he showed me he can make adjustments and bite down if he has to. From the point of view from the Bella promotions, would it be acceptable to have the rematch in England or would you want it to be in the States or abroad or whatever? We would like it anywhere where we can we can get a fair shake. Uh, and it's not too cold. <laughs> not too cold. <laughs> so hopefully uh, I can get a suntan. Sunny yesterday. Huh? Sunny yesterday. Today was not. Yeah, yesterday, yeah. That's right. He wasn't able to take off his shirt, though. Yeah. There's no muscle <laughs> beach around. <laughs> yeah, we seen him take off his shirt today. It's 2... No, I think it's... It's 2.30. It's 2... As the time goes up, it's 2.30 in the morning, right? It's 2.38, because yeah. it's, yeah. yeah. it's gone forward an hour. Yeah. It already went forward? Yeah. It's already gone forward. It's 2.38 now, yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's just signing off. He should be a short He's signing his ass off, ain't he? I asked, I asked the gentleman why, why, why.